this point very, very real to you. It is Christ who is building the church. It's not a man. It's not an organization. It's not a denomination. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. And the church that Jesus builds is a church that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So in this, we see that the church, the people of God, the body of Christ built by the Lord is on a mission. They are a and the aggressor. In other words, they don't sit back on their laurels and when the devil attacks them, then come to life. No, that's not how the body of Christ moves. The scripture says we submit to God. In other words, we submit our will to the Lord. Then we resist the devil. So we are proactive. Uh, we're not waiting to be attacked and then we resist. No, we continually resist the devil and the devil will then what? flee from us. So the church of Jesus Christ, the body of Christ has great power, has been greatly anointed by Jesus Christ. And we are here to conquer the enemy and all that he is doing. Now, as we look at the world today, particularly in America, we see that there have been so many demonic portals opened uh, through behavior of people. You know, take abortion, for example. It's basically child sacrifice, which goes back to the ancient uh, pagan religions of people sacrificing their children to be blessed by their idolatrous gods. And moving in that kind of behavior, whether you realize it or not, or even condoning it, opens up demonic portals. And we see the devastation that occurs when a country uh, is, is ruled by unrighteousness, corruption comes forth and it, it becomes a reproach. Isaiah 26, 1 and 2. In that day, the song will be sung in the land of Judah. The land of Judah, that's the land of praise. That is uh, Judah, the, the tribe of which Jesus the Christ comes forth from, the lion of Judah. We have a strong city. Beloved, the body of Christ, the church of Jesus Christ is a strong city. It is strong because its strength comes from Christ, from abiding in Christ and abiding in his word so that whatever we ask will be done. Everybody wants their prayers to be answered, but not everybody wants to abide in Christ and abide in the word. So when you are not abiding daily in Christ and in his word, you become very anemic. You do not have that power in your life. So your prayers do not avail much. And actually the enemy then can take over in your life and get a foothold in your life through various sins. So this is why we have to begin to understand our strength comes from abiding in the Lord, being bound to the Word of God, to the truth, being bound to Jesus. That's, that's our strength. And because of that, God will appoint salvation for walls and bulwarks. There's that word bulwarks. A bulwark is a fortress. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a castle. It is, it's both for protection and for support, but it's also gives you a military advantage that you can go on the attack of the enemy. You don't wait for the enemy to attack you. You are at such a high place upon the bulwark that Christ has built up in your life. You're living the high life in Christ, living on the highway of holiness. You are able to conquer the enemy because you're on high ground. Open the gates that the righteous nation which keeps the truth may enter in. So we see the ecclesia as a great fortress. Yes, it's um, the body of Christ. It's encompassed by these bulwarks and by these walls of salvation, which our Savior is Jesus Christ. And it insulates us. It empowers us, not so that we can become self-absorbed, beloved, but that we can do the works that God has called us to do. Mm -hmm.